Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in this video, I'll show you how you can create and use appointment slots in your Google Calendar. There can be multiple use cases which can be covered by appointment slots. Think of use cases like if you're a teacher or a consultant and you would like to offer office hours to your students or to your audience. In case if you're a business owner and you're ready to listen to ideas from your people, you can publish appointment slots called uh, business ideas and then share it with your team so that without even a need to check your free busy or doing back and forth asking for your availability they can simply go to your appointment slots calendar book the events and tell you more business ideas so with that let's go right into it and let me show you how you can create appointment slots in your google calendar So you will go to your G Suite Google Calendar as this feature is not available in personal Gmail. Once you are in your G Suite Google Calendar, just click anywhere and it will give you an option to create appointment slots. Click on appointment slots and then click on more options. Once you're here, you can define a bunch of settings. For example, title of your appointment slots. I'm going to call this uh, present business ideas. Present business ideas and then you can make it either just one time or you can also make it repeatable so I'll make it every day Monday to Friday and I will give it the time of uh, every day 4:30 to 5 and I will make it two slots of 15 minutes each to present their ideas and then in the description I will simply say agenda is to introduction and then present your idea please access the business idea template here and then you can link the presentation or the business idea template if you want to use any template for that so for, and you can't make the attachment so that's why I'm inserting a link for now I'm just putting it docs.google.com but you can put your Google slide or Google Doc link or any other link here. Do not add the guest unless you really need because that means they will be coming to each of your slots. So let's say if you're a CEO and you want your assistant to be present in all your office appointment slots then you can add them here otherwise not. You can also add the location so for example I'm gonna just say Google Meet here and once you're done with this click on save and once you're done you will see that all your appointment slots are created for your recurring Monday to Friday and these are shown by this grid which means these are appointment slots now when you click on those you will see this calendar appointment page click on that page and it will open the page of your appointment calendar where they can go and book your appointment slots so now what you need to do is just copy this appointment slots link and then share it with anyone and they should be able to book events on your calendar so now let's see how does it look from the other side so I will go to my other user and I will click on that link which I might have got an email or it's inserted into our wiki or somewhere and now I see all these available slots of 15 minutes let's say if I want to present a business idea to my CEO I will just click on these appointment slots and I can I can book it and once that's done that will be a seen in my calendar so now when I go to my own calendar I see that this appointment slot has been booked and when I click on that I can see who booked it also when someone books your appointment slot you will get an email you can even do further tweaks to it to make it easily accessible so for example you can go to your uh, DNS where you can do the mapping so you can create a simple subdomain saying ideas.yourdomain.com and then you can paste your or you can uh, redirect it to your appointment slots calendar link so that when someone goes to let's say that subdomain for example ideas.yourdomain.com he or she will be landing to your appointment slots page and then you can insert this uh, ideas.yourdomain.com into your wiki or google site whatever you have to manage your intra-domain activities so hope it was helpful if you have any questions comments feedback do not hesitate to put it under this video and I will be happy to help. Thank you so much.